welcome to Farm Focus end of financial year um, online training. This is just going to walk through um, for the next few months. If your end of financial year is just coming up now at the 31st of March, um, or if it's end of May or end of June, it's just getting everything nice and easy and cleaned up, ready for your next financial year. This webinar will only take a couple, about 10, 20 minutes. Um, it'll just be a quick run through. If you do want any more in-depth information, just go ahead and into our help centre, which is just down here at the bottom and clicking help. Most of what I'm going through will have an each individual help topic that you is relatable to the anything you're asking. Um, really simple to go through there and type in just keywords and it will bring up what you're looking for. If you have any further questions, either call us on 0800 888 080 and we have a fantastic support team that are here for any queries that you may have. We also have a help chat bubble just down the bottom here, um, so you can go ahead and chat straight to our team um, and they will answer any questions that you may have. So I will just start off with um, this will basically run through um, how to add invoice dates to transactions, making sure your invoice dates are correct for the correct financial year, um, allocating which financial year they need to be in, along with all your stock reconciliations and your non-financial livestock, etc. So right now I'm sitting on my needs action screen. Um, I will show you if you use Invoice Scanner, your invoice day will already be allocated from what the invoice is. Um, I, we can see here both of these invoices have been sent through Invoice Scanner. So I can click into them and I can see that my invoice date is March um, and it is going to be into my next financial year that I will be paying it, but this will allocate it into the correct financial year. Along with the MAD motorcycles, this will do the same. My invoice date will allocate it to this financial year rather than when paying it next financial year, it will allocate it back. So I can go ahead and match those off and I know that they're going to be in the correct financial year. Any stock sales you may have, um, there will be an event date that you add in. If I click into my bull sales here, um, we can see that my I've popped in the event date for now, um, yet the due date to be paid will be into April. So it'll be into my next financial year, but that event date will allocate them back to this financial year. With your non-financial stock events, we do need you to make sure that they are inputted correctly um, and that they are all fully up to date for you and your accountant. Um, you can add in a non-financial stock event just up here on the right hand side. Once again, we have that event date. So that event date needs to be as accurate as possible um, and that you've entered in all your non-financial stock events for this year. Um, so next year's stock rec and opening balances, et cetera, are accurate to what is on the property at the time. If you have transactions that need to be allocated into a financial year, but these do not have an invoice attached, we can go ahead and click into the completed screen because these will already be coded. I'm going to switch into transaction view. And we're going to scroll down and we can see I have a transaction sitting here. I click on the three little dots and I can add an invoice date. I can pop my invoice date in there. And I can allocate it back and apply. I can allocate that so I can have that invoice date to go back into the correct financial year. If you need to go through and check any of your coding, you can switch this back between coded lines and we do have a printer icon as well so you can print it off and take a look at your own time and um, otherwise you can take a look straight into here. All of these headers here you can click on and so they will sort by description, we can sort by code. Code is going to put in alphabetical order so if you do need to check any of your coding you can go ahead and do so. It does give the ability to change this code if need to. 
do check anything that has got a GST stamp on it. You can go ahead and do any changes to these, but these will be reversals or a journal entry, etc. If you want to know a little bit more about um, adding in a journal entry reversal, either get in touch with your accountant or give us a call. There is a really, really good help center article as well explaining how to do reversals or any journal entries that you need. Once you're happy with all of your coding, you can pop over to your balancing screen. We do need to make sure that the end date of your financial year, you are all fully balanced up. And um, if these numbers here are in red, this means you're not balanced. Even if the numbers are the same, there may be one month that has a missing bank balance. Just scroll through and find that one. We do want to see this nice, beautiful green line with a tick saying all balanced up. Once you're fully happy with everything on the needs action screen and the actuals, you can go ahead and check your plan. Within your working plan, you can pop things through to next financial year um, as well if you need to. Any planned items or actuals, they will be flagged. If I click on my little eyeball up here, show financial year items and apply, this will show um, these little blue flags, this means that they're allocated to last year's financial year, but they were paid in this financial year. So there is a nice, easy blue flag there to locate it and identify it. If I scroll through to my next financial year, I will have planned items that are for paid this year, but they are allocated back to last year's financial year. If you don't want to see the future year, you can go ahead and just unclick show financial year items. Ideally, you want to make sure that your opening and closing livestock numbers are correct. And that you can do this by just clicking on the little settings cog, click livestock, and you've got your closing and your opening. So next financial year, these numbers here will be your opening. So we do need to make sure that these are all correct. Do remember with all of your livestock, all of the stock does get aged up at your end of your financial year if these are set up as in your code list to be aged up. If they aren't um, set up to be aged up, this means you do have to manually age them up. But majority of the time, your stock codes will be set up to age up. So this, this will be happening at the end of your financial year. With your milk production, um, we can now have the option of adding an invoice date. So if your milk production goes through um, your financial year, um, from one financial year to the next financial year, we do add an invoice date now, which pops up as soon as you pop in your milk production and you save it, it'll give you an option to put in an invoice date. You'll go ahead, pop in the invoice date, so that will pop it into the correct month and correct financial year if it's a crossover between both financial years. Pop into your reports. You can go and check your any coding as well within your ABC report. Um, you can print these out once again, um, filter anything. You can filter right down to the extended code to make sure that you are happy with all of your coding. You can go ahead and check your stock rec to make sure your stock reconciliation is all correct and up to date and you're happy with that's what you've got on at the property at the time. You can see exactly what's going to age out and age in. So we can see just for instance, my bull calves are aging out at 84 and my R1s are going to age in at 84. So I've got these all to set up to start aging up. Your accountant's annual report, you can pop in there and you can see all for your accountant. This is primarily for them, but if you do need to, you can see your accounts payable and your accounts receivable. Um, go ahead and check out any little bits of information here. You can display all sections as well if you need to. At any time as well, if you do need to go ahead and pop any paper copies back to any of your transactions, you can always pop back into your completed screen and add a PDF copy up into your paper clip if you do have anything that you need to add in. Having all of this information right does allow you to effectively compare your farm with industry averages, discussion groups and against any of your own previous years to see the trends. Um, so having it up as clean as possible 
is the best policy. If you have come over from Cash Manager Rural, of course you will be used to closing off your financial year um, and that is all done and you don't you can't go back within focus you can go back and um, there is no actual closing off a financial year it just rolls over to your next financial year um, do bear in mind if there is any changes that you do need to make within a financial year please get in touch with your accountant as they most likely have already exported to the general ledger um, so good conversations with them is ideal otherwise that is majority of what you need to do with the financial year please get in touch with us um, if you have any further questions um, but i hope you all have a great rest of your day and all your financial year is nice and easy and seamless thank you